So today I'm going to be working on a mug holder for my wife. She has over like 20, 30 mugs uh, that take up all the room at our kitchen hutch. So I'm going to build something for our kitchen to store them all so that it can free up some room. So right now I'm making a run to Home Depot uh, and pick up some supplies that I need. Um, so that's where we're heading right now. Okay, so we got a couple five and a half inch width boards here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these down to size. These will make up the back of the mug holder. Um, so I should have enough here to get that. And then I'll go ahead and do a trim kind of a thing on the outside. Then we'll go ahead and drill the holes, get the pegs in, and we should get this done here pretty quick. So I cut these two backing bar kind of things here. Um, that's what's going to attach all these boards together. Uh, the reason I'm not gluing these, uh, there's a couple reasons. One, I really uh, don't like to join anything butt to butt unless I have a biscuit joiner, which I do not have. Uh, and gluing sometimes without that proper joints uh, can kind of get messy sometimes. These boards can warp. These are pretty cheap boards. Uh, they're the common board from Home Depot, which is usually pine or spruce or fir, something like that, just kind of junk wood essentially. Um, so they have a pretty bad tendency to warp and uh, crack and whatnot. So that's why I'm not gluing them. Um, and they'll attach just fine with these. And I also kind of want the uh, pallet sign kind of look to it. Um, that's kind of what our interior of our house is decorated as. It's kind of more rustic. So that's kind of what I'm going for uh, with the look here. And that's the reason why I'm not gluing it. All right, so I saw something while looking in my paint and stain drawer. I'm actually going to change direction a little bit on the look of this thing. Alright, so that's kind of what I ended up with doing the spray paint a little bit. So, uh, didn't turn out quite like I wanted to. Uh, had it bleed a little bit under the tape, but I'll go ahead and let this dry overnight and then I can sand that out and clean it all up and whatnot. And then I'm going to take a redder type of stain to this top part to kind of make it look like a sunset silhouette. So that's what I'm going for right now with it. sanded went ahead and cleaned up uh, the paint that bled over so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out and drill the holes for the pegs that'll hold the mugs
that'll do it for this video. Uh, the mug holder is complete. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, if you like what you saw here, go ahead and take a look at my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I want to thank my wife again for all the filler music uh, that you heard in this video. As I said in my other videos, all the filler that you hear is actually from my wife. Uh, so big shout out to her. Uh, thanks for watching.